What's up guys? Best games here. And we have some kill confirmed gameplay on Warhawk. And if you want to see my class setup, I will put a link in the description with a picture of it. Because in this game, spoilers, I got a chem strike. And yeah, that it this is the first time that I have dropped a nuke in one of these Call of Duty games in a pub match. Um, um, it's a bit campy because I didn't rush around like a little bitch, but campy as hell. Except not that campy. Because at some point my friend Chaos, who I was playing with, decided that he was going to tell me, hey you're on a 20 gun streak, why don't you go for a chem? And I was like, oh, am I? So, here is one of my two deaths, is that kid just comes out and sprays both of us. And from here, um, I don't die again until almost the very end. Um, and, I mean, it's a bit campy, but it's also just tactically sound, how I played. So, if you want some tips and tricks, just watch the video, and don't play like a rushing idiot, if you want better score. Anyway, so I was running the uh, the dog, the battle hind, which is trash, but I actually played a game last night, and the battle hind did not suck fucking dick. It gave me like five kills, I was like, whoa, is this fake? Um, and then the maniac, which... You'll see that I overlap the streaks because I didn't call in the maniac because I felt like I was doing way too good with a gun and I wasn't gonna basically handicap myself with a knife. Um, so now that most of the gameplay stuff is out of the way, um, we're gonna talk about a well. I don't know if it's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. Um, Retail. Now, I don't know how many of you are shoppers out there, but shoppers are assholes. People that go shopping for fun, okay, for whatever they want, to buy their fucking nice-ass clothing that they hate and then come back and return. Shoppers are assholes. And for a lot of female people out there shopping is an addiction really? it is a full-blown addiction like smoking or weed or you know shit like that shopping is an addiction to these people so retailers like to take advantage of the fact that they basically have addicts coming to their store every single week and buying up shit and then they come back and then they return it for no goddamn reason. The only reason is, oh, I spent too much money. I I, I can't I can't have that. Um so I gotta return it. You know, and, and that's a pain in the ass. And as a person that works in retail, that works in customer service, you get this shit a lot. Oh, and you can sit the fuck down, kid. Um Man, that knife was great because I didn't get stuck. Um, basically, if you knife somebody and you're on a different level than them, you don't get stuck because you can't you can't stick to them. You can't go through a level. So, <clears throat> or you can crouch and knife. That is also a thing. Use it. Tips and tricks, people. Um. So, retail. People are assholes. People are complete, legitimate assholes. <laughs> People that shop in retail think that their coupons are fucking godly, especially with shows like um, Extreme Couponing and Extreme Cheapskates and stuff like that on TLC. Like, shit like that makes people think that they know how to fucking shop like a fucking pro. And look at this. Look at this. Just fucking knock them all out. Get the fuck down. Sit down. 
And this is about the part where Chaos decides to tell me, hey, you're on a 20 gun streak. How about you calm the fuck down and uh, get that camp? And. Yeah, I basically don't leave this spot of the map until I get my chem. So, I mean, I move around tactically, but I don't really leave this uh, this little alleyway here. So, spoilers, I know, but whatever. Hey, look, it's the second battle hand. Anyways, people have their fucking coupons. People think that they know everything about them. But, maybe it's my area. Maybe it's where I live, maybe because I live in New York, people are just downright assholes. I don't really know, but people don't read their fucking coupons. They expect to be able to use their expired coupons like it's their fucking job. Like, they expect to be able to throw a hissy fit and call corporate and be like, I'll get what I want. Okay, so this woman yesterday, she came into the store and she wanted to return a set of socks. It was five socks. Five pairs of socks in a set. I'm like, okay, fine. So, she comes in, returns that five, that pair of five. That set of five. And with it, she has one pair of socks out of the set of five for another set. And it has holes in it. And she's like, well, I want to return this one because it, it has holes in it. My son keeps getting holes in his socks and blah blah blah. Which means that Either A, her son's wearing shitty ass shoes, or B, the socks are generally trash. Not my problem either way. But to return an item, I need all of the item. I need all five pairs. And this woman, she did not understand that. She didn't. I spent five minutes explaining to her with a coworker, saying, We can't take this back because you don't have all of the product. Honestly, do you think it's ridiculous that you could come in and return one pair of of a set of five and expect to get all your money back? She's like, oh, but they're in the trash. I'm like, well, that's not my fucking problem. I need all of them. Because for all I know, she's lying. She's returning one pair of socks, and she has four pairs for free. It's a scam. But she's like, all right, corporate, and blah, 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 and I'll get what I want. Because blah, blah, you guys always do it for me. It's like, no, no, we don't. People think that they're fucking entitled to everything in this fucking, at least where I live. They think they're entitled to all their fucking coupons, even though the coupons are fucking, like, months old. They think they're like, oh, well, you guys, you guys will always take care of me because, because I'm the consumer and, and I deserve everything because I'm a little bitch. No, you don't fucking deserve everything. You don't deserve every goddamn little thing that you want. There are dates on a coupon for a reason. Adhere to them. If you can't adhere to them, then maybe you don't deserve the coupon. A coupon is not something that you're entitled to. A coupon is basically just an extra helping for you to save money. It is not an entitlement. It is not something that you're entitled to in any way, shape, or form. Just because you have it doesn't make you a god. Just because you have it doesn't make you amazing. Just because you have it doesn't mean that you're entitled to everything because of it. God, people just piss me off with that shit. And I'm really sick of it. I'm really sick of them coming in and expecting us to bow down to their fucking wants because they have a fucking coupon. Or they want to return something. And at my store, they do money back in the form of a coupon after you spend a certain amount of money. And it's only sometimes, but lately it's basically all the time. So you get people that come in, they're like, oh, I always get that. And it's like, no, we're not doing it right now. I'm sorry, I cannot give it to you because we don't have it. But people don't want to hear that. People think that they're entitled to it, even though we don't have it. And, by the way, this is my cam strike, so yeah. Fuck yeah. Warhawk. I love this goddamn map. 
But people think that they're so fucking entitled to their goddamn things just because they happen to spend like $2 in a fucking store. Just because you spend $2 in that store doesn't mean that A, me getting paid less than $8 an hour is appreciating the fact that you just spent $2 but you put back 20 fucking items. Okay, that's fucking annoying for me. That means I have to put that shit away. And that's not fair to the person that you didn't even pay the paycheck of for an hour. So, fuck you, all the people that think that they're fucking entitled when going into fucking retail stores, fuck you, you are not entitled. You too. can fucking work like the rest of us. And you could actually treat the people that work behind that counter with some goddamn respect. Because guess what? They get paid like shit to listen to your shit. <sighs> Alright, rant over. This is the end of the gameplay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, chem strike. If you did, drop a like. Subscribe. I'll be here. I'll be ranting more about retail if you like it. Anyways, peace out, guys. I'm out.